Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to start building our demo by creating a tile map. Unity provides tile map generation features, so we are going to use them. First, download the sprites for this tutorial, which is this folder here I already have in my project. So I have just created an empty Unity 2D project and I have added the sprites from the source code. And here we are going to use this terrains sprite here. To, to build the tile map. So first you need to do two things here. I have already done those things but I'm going to show what I did here. First you need to change the pixels per, per unit here to 40 so it will have the, the correct size in your game and also you need to change the sprite mode here to multiple and then open the sprite editor, click on slice and slice the the sprites here by the cell size using a size of 40 by 40. So this will slice the terrains exactly on their their size here. So that's what we need to do. Then we need to apply. Now we can create a tile map object from this sprite here. It's the terrain sprite here. So let's go here to our I'm going to rename our scene to demo and not sample scene and I'm going to create a new 2D object tile map. This will create a grid and a tile map object inside the grid. Now we need to populate this tile map. So first I'm going to open here the window 2D tile palette. Let's put it here and here we are going to to add the terrains sprite to use for the tile map. So we need to create a new palette here, new tile palette called for example dungeon palette. Let's create it. We need to save it in a folder. I'm going to create a folder here called tile palettes. And then here it is the dungeon palette. Now we go to the we drag and drop the terrains here so that you are going to, to add the tiles of this sprite here in the palette. So again we need to select the folder, let's save it in the same folder. And it is going to generate the tiles, the tile objects for all the different tiles here in the sprite sheet. So here we have all the terrains for our game. Now we can start creating our tile map using this palette here. So we need to select the brush tool here. And for example, let's select this tile here. And then we can put it in our map like this. And let's put some walls here. So for example, I'm going to put the walls around here, leaving an empty space here for the door and then we save it. The next step is making the walls here collidable because we don't want the player to be able to walk through the walls. So in order to do this we need to select the tile map object here and we need to add a component called tile map collider 2D. This will add colliders to all the tiles in the, in the tile map. However, we don't want the floor to be collidable as well. The only collidable tiles should be the walls. So the way we make the floors not collidable is going here, the tile palettes folder, selecting the, the floor tile and changing the collider type here to none. Now, if you select it again, you can see that we have colliders. The colliders are those green squares here around the tile and they are only on the walls. The floor doesn't have any colliders on it. Now let's try running the demo to see the map. So this is the tile map. We don't have anything special happening right now, but soon we are going to add more, more stuff in our map. As an exercise, create your own tile map. 
feel free to use the tiles you prefer. The only requirement is that it must be a dungeon room with at least one way out, for example the door I added in the, the bottom of the, the room. Don't worry about the elements inside the room, for example adding rocks and things like that. We are going to procedurally generate some obstacles later in the course. And that's it for this lesson. In the next one, we are going to add a player to this map.